a couple other things that happened, and I promise we're going to get into the main show in a second, guys. But there's a, it has been bot got blocked, bot got blocked by that bad studies bitch. I think that was a big achievement for bot. She was really proud of it. So that happened. Bot got blocked by her first socialist. And and in an interesting turn of events, Ian Miles Chong has admitted that he's a grifter. This is one I didn't have on my bingo card for today, but I want to play you guys the sound because I think it's important. I think it's important to know who the uh, grifters are in our movement. And apparently Ian Miles Chong has admitted that Ron DeSantis is paying him $35,000 to shill for him. Let's listen. It's real quick. Why all of a sudden you're... And Ian, I'm curious while. as to why all of a sudden you're shilling for DeSantis. Because he's paying like, me $35,000 a year. That's why. And Ian, I'm curious while. as to why all of a sudden you're shilling for DeSantis. Because he's paying me like, $35,000 a year. That's why. And Ian, I'm curious while. as to why all of a sudden you're shilling for DeSantis. Because he's paying like, me $35,000 a year. That's why. And Ian, I'm curious while. as to why all of a sudden you're shilling for DeSantis. Because he's paying like, me $35,000 a year. That's why. And Ian, I'm curious. I'm just saying that I have quite literally been saying for years, trying to tell people that Ian Miles Chung is a grifter. And when I say grifter, I mean real grifter. There are, there are three types of people creating content on the internet. There are activists. Activists are actually trying to solve problems. There are entertainers. Entertainers are taking advantage of problems. They care about them, but they're never going to solve them because they're using problems to make money and maintain their status. And then there's grifters and grifters will say quite literally whatever they need to say, whether they believe it or not, in order to make money. I am an activist or I try to do my best because I'm actually trying to solve problems. Someone like a Matt Walsh is going to be an entertainer. Matt Walsh doesn't give two shits about solving the problems he talks about. He's using it to make money, maintain his status. I'd in fact say that of everyone at the Daily Wire. And then you have people like Ian Miles Chung who will quite literally say anything they need to say in order to make money. If Trump was paying Ian Miles Chung, he would shill for Trump. Apparently, DeSantis is paying him, which kind of seems like a campaign finance violation to me. But I guess maybe it's OK because Ron DeSantis hasn't officially announced his presidential campaign. But apparently. Now, what Ian Miles Chung is going to do is he's going to come out and say, I was joking. I was joking. That's not real. That's not real. Bullshit. Bullshit. I absolutely believe that Ian Miles Chung is the type of person to quite literally say the quiet part out loud and then pretend it was just a joke and he takes it back sees. No, 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 no. I don't believe it for one red second. Ian Miles Chung is absolutely a grifter. Ian Miles Chung will say whatever he needs to say to make money. This has been true for a while. And I think this is a great question. Who else is DeSantis paying? I know there are people who legitimately like DeSantis. I do. And I understand why they do. I think that they're wrong and misguided and that Ron DeSantis is a statist. But I understand there are some people who organically like him. I think Chris Rufo genuinely likes him. You know, people like that. And I respect Chris Rufo. I respect his right to have that opinion. I disagree with him, but whatevs. I think there are people who genuinely like Trump. I think, but I think that most of the people shilling for one candidate or another, like actively, are being paid from somewhere. You know? 